Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another instant deck tech. So Thursday means it's tier one Thursday, and today we're heading to Legacy to check out a deck that's kind of shot to the top of the format since the banning of Sensei's Divining Top and kind of the end of the rule of miracles. So this is Blue Red Delver, uh, Blue Red, it's a very burn heavy Delver type of deck, kind of a Blue Red prowessy deck. So this deck is not the best deck in Legacy, but it's put up a lot of results. I think it's in the top five decks as far as results since the banning of Sensei's Divining Top. And we're going to check it out because it's super sweet. So this exact build is from Ali R, who has taken it to at least a couple of 5-0 finishes in competitive leagues on Magic Online. But this is tier one. There's several different players that are posting finishes with basically the same build without changing too much of it. So congrats to Ali R on a super sweet deck. But like I said, it's kind of a known thing. You don't see too many differences, and that's how it usually works on Tier Thursday. But anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Blue Red Delver for Legacy. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Blue Red Delver is built around the one drop. So we have Delver of Secrets, which is kind of a Spell Matters card. You need to have the instant or sorcery on top of your deck. You flip it around into a 3-2. The deck has a ton of instants or sorceries and tons of ways to set up the Delver. So it's going to pretty consistently flip on turn two. So you're going to start beating down with a 3-2 flyer. Super fast clock, especially when you can back it up by some soft permission. Also some burn spells. And then we essentially have seven Monastery Swift Spears with the new addition Soul Scar Mage, which trades in the haste of the original Monastery Swift spear for this weird ability that lets damage stick to creatures. It's dealt with negative one, negative one counters, essentially gives non-combat damage wither. So this lets you kind of eat through a Tarmogoyf with multiple spells, even if you have to split it across turns. But for the most part, it's just another one mana, one two with prowess. So since we're playing so many spells for Delver of Secrets, these cards give us a super fast start. We just can play them on turn one, on turn two. A nut draw with this deck is probably something like Delver of Secrets, Flip Delver of Secrets, any two of Monastery Swift Spear and Soul Scar Mage on turn two, and then on turn three, you th start playing spells, and we can potentially just kill our opponent right there with a combination of Burn and Prowess Triggers and Delver Beats. The rest of the creatures in the deck, Storm Chaser Mage... Uh, as weird as it sounds, a little expensive. The deck really wants one mana creatures, but this gives us a two mana creature. It's pretty powerful. It dodges a lot of removal like Lightning Bolt because you can use the Prowess trigger to get it out of range. And then one Grim Lava Mancer, which is a pretty sweet combo with Soul Scar Mage since the damage sticks. So like I was talking about before, we can split up the activations across turns and slowly eat our way through a Tarmogoy for some other big creature that's giving us trouble. Also can just go to the face and take advantage of all the spells that are going into our graveyard. So outside of the creatures, we have a ton of spells. Brainstorm, Ponder, Gitaxian Probe are cheap ways to set up our Delver, especially Brainstorm and Ponder. We can make sure we have an instant or sorcery on top of our deck. They're also cheap ways or even free ways in the case of Gitaxian Probe to trigger Prowess. So what we're looking at is something like we mentioned, the Nut Draw. Delver on turn one, a couple of Swift Spears or Soul Scar Mages on turn two. On turn three, we can theoretically just like Ponder, Brainstorm, Ponder, Gitaxian Probe. We're attacking for five with each of our Soul Scar Mages. Monastery Swift Spears lets 10 damage. Delver is getting in for... It's six point of damage if you got in for three in the previous turn after it flips. You throw a lightning bolt in there over one of these cantrip spells, and you just have your opponent dead on turn three. So it's super aggressive. These cards let us kind of just chain through our deck and get those prowess triggers without costing us a card. As far as the burn, lightning bolt and chain lightning, basically the same card in our deck. Just as efficient as it gets for burn spells. Can go at creatures, but mostly we want to send this at our opponent's face and trigger our prowess abilities along the way. Price of progress, kind of the finisher of the deck, can be up to like 10 damage in some situations. Two times the number of non-basic lands each player controls. So if your opponent has five non-basics, it's a huge chunk of damage. And even if you're just getting four damage or six damage out of it for two mana, it's a great way to get in those last points of damage and close out the game. As far as kind of stopping our opponent, 
Force of Will and Daze. We have all three counter spells in this deck, so this can protect our creatures, keep us alive against combo. Daze, another sweet way to trigger prowess. We could even use it on one of our own spells if we needed to, just to get another prowess trigger. So very powerful with the creatures we have in this deck. In the mana base, a ton of fetch lands, 10 fetch lands, and not that many fetchable lands. Four volcanic islands, one mountain, one island, so 16 lands total, but we can get away with that because our deck is so cheap and so cantrip heavy. In the sideboard, Flusterstorm and Pyroblast give us some more counter spells, ways to fight against our opponent's permission. Uh, Flusterstorm is good against Storm as well. A bunch of removal. Rough Tumble is super good with our creatures. It doesn't kill Delver. It's basically a Pyroclasm, but it doesn't kill Delver because Delver has flying, and it doesn't kill our Prowess creatures because Prowess will trigger, make them into two threes, so it's kind of a one-sided Pyroclasm. Dismember kills a lot of stuff. Submerge put something on top of our opponent's deck uh, and we can cast it for free if our opponent's playing a green deck so like bug or elves or something like that smash the smithereens for artifacts graph digger's cage to prevent graveyard shenanigans pyrostatic pillar is great against any sort of comboy storm type deck you play this your opponent can't just cast 10 spells and win the game because they're gonna die to the pyrostatic pillar price of progress to seal some wins and that is blue red delver for Legacy, and that's our instant deck tech for today, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below, and to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos, and if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.